We've all seen tons of charts and graphs in our lives. We know that our brains process visual data faster than numbers, but often we're thrown into report writing roles without much education beyond that. So what makes a good visualization? How do you compile those into a dashboard or report? Let's dig into how to tell a story using data. Reports that are visually offensive, confusing, or even misleading are all too common. We've been in meetings where the consumers of the data visualizations have to ask, what does this mean? So how do we avoid these problems? Often we get a request for a report, we find the data, we throw it into our visualization tool of choice, click the easiest or coolest graph option, and publish. But we never stop to ask, what is the story of this data? Before we even get to the data, we need to ask who is the audience? Do they want to dig into the details or have a quick high-level presentation? Are we trying to highlight the trends already found or provide KPIs to the experts who know how to interpret them? Will the data be consumed on a computer, mobile device, or by presentation in a meeting? Asking as many questions as possible will guide the best way to visualize the data. So how do you turn data into a story? While analysts like to think we're just presenting facts, the reality is humans respond to emotions, and the visualization story is how we can connect with the people to make sure that the data has the right impact. A good story has tension, mystery, a buildup, and a payoff. Let's consider a presentation that begins with a number of KPIs. A customer service score is highlighted red as the value is below the goal. This instantly shows the problem. Next, there's a timeline showing a sharp dip in satisfaction rating at a specific point. Highlighting that month, a comparison between customer service teams shows one team underperforming. And finally, a chart of a reorganization that month with the underperforming team getting rearranged and placed under new leadership. This data visualization gives a clear story about how a poor staffing decision led to missing a year-end goal in a way that will have a lot of impact on the executive team. There are a number of common methods to tell these data stories. The most traditional is the report, a collection of charts and graphs that gives a more in-depth analysis, usually containing historical data. They can come in the form of the dreaded stack of paper, a digital booklet, or most commonly in the form of a presentation, like a quarterly meeting. Reports are best used with decision makers to help them make informed decisions. Next are dashboards, which should be a concise display of KPIs to quickly understand the status of the subject matter, though they often become cluttered messes, as KPIs are poorly defined and then more and more data keeps getting added in the hope that insights magically appear. Dashboards are best used for day-to-day -day monitoring of operations. Finally, we have infographics, which are designed to tell a very quick, clear story using data, often to a general audience. They leave little room for interpretation or analysis and have the singular goal of persuasion. They're best used for things like marketing. While all data visualizations should be telling a story, the level of detail, depth, and persuasiveness will depend on the specific goals and audience. All of this should be taken into consideration way before deciding if a bar graph or pie chart is best. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Stick around for more data content by subscribing to the channel or clicking a video on screen. See you in the next one.